where's everybody at on this Sunday fun day? What's up, Crystal? <clears throat> There we are. Here they come. Here they come. Maybe we'll try to do a Day of the Dead. Wouldn't that be fun? Day of the Dead. I don't know if that's what that's said. Look at everybody. Hi, y'all. I just called. We did. Howdy, howdy. I'm going to turn that around unless you want to talk about that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Shit, I forgot. They can't hear us. <laughs> nope, they can't hear it. Can you hear us now or no? Or yes? Hey, uh, and tell us if we sound like a robot again. I think we fixed it, but you never know. Uh, the weather is really nice. It's going to be like 99 tomorrow. Awesome. No robot voices. Boop, boop. Boop, boop. If you do a Day of the Dead pour, are you going to like paint it or... Like what? What are you and talking about? What if I about? did like a half skull, or did maybe like a skull, a dead skull, and then do like those flower things, and then just let it drip? I don't know. Who knows? Let's see what we've got here, guys. Sorry, let me try to. Straighten this up. I think you're all crooked. Oh, thanks, Cryptic. Yeah, that's a commission piece I'm working. I gotta finish it by the first. Some way. I have no idea. That's awesome, David. Need that super duper violet you poured with. Ultraviolet? Did you use ultraviolet? I don't know what he, I don't know what he for that. Trudy likes your shirt. What's up, Becky? Thanks. I got Dating it in, Pandora, in Wichita. It stands for, what does it say? GMFD. Great MF and day. Yes. Great MF and day. It's a little. Hi, Sheila. It's a little uh, uh, cussy wordy, but it's great day. Cussy wordy. It's positive with the cuss word in it. Sounds it's, better today. It's all about. Okay. Uh, yeah, I believe it's just him being alive. We said it sounds better. Yeah. Okay. Um, what up, Tiffany Denny? I haven't seen you in a couple seconds. Um, cheers, Chris Hart. Sippy, sippy. That's what I need. I Um, I think that ultraviolet is out on the website, but I have ordered another round of just resin. I wasn't sure. And breakfast at Tiffany, I ordered. Like 30 more of those. I, I'm really amazed at how well those colors were received. I didn't know that many would sell out so quickly. So I've reordered and Just Resin is really good about shipping on time. So I should have those in like 10 days. Hi, Angela. This is true cryptic. Evening resin fans. 
Well, as long as you're watching Tiffany, you can pay to watch at the same time. That's awesome. Hi, Rona. I should have it in the next 10 days, Jody. So, what are you you're gonna do a day of the dead for? No, I <laughs> Hello from Morocco. I want to visit Morocco. We should plan a trip. I follow, I follow that guy, John Olson. Ask him if you ever heard of a guy named John Olson. He used to ski for Red Bull. And he's on YouTube now and he makes some awesome videos. They just redid this castle. He calls it Casa Castle. And it is beautiful. Um, Debbie, most of them have gone out. The only ones that haven't are the ones where I'm waiting on people to tell me if they want certain things switched out or not because of artist suit orders. I know, Trudy. I just I just took some energy drink, so Hi Lisa, what's up everybody that just came in? Cheryl said happy belated birthday. Get a polo wall. Hey Lucy. Kenny said are the Sunday fours gonna be worked around Cowboys football? This week's not a problem because it's at 315. Judy. I don't know. I, I, I guess that would be fun. Do some dark blues and silvers. Okay, just talking about timing. Thank you, Cryptic and Judy. Susan got her shipment notification. Awesome, awesome. Hi, Serby. Oh, bananas. By request. I need to remember to say bananas more often. I haven't been paying attention. Hi, nurse calls. How have you been? Haven't seen you in a while. Hi, mom and Ann. What's up, everybody? Just joining in. You don't want to do the cut it out? It. I didn't think about it until I shipped it. Awesome, Sherry. I'm glad your first showing went well. Beat, what are you doing? Tell the people. Um, I'm not sure just yet. I meant with like heating the bottle up. Too hot and humid for resin today. We have those days many times. But we just work through the pain. Just wondering how the force from outside with Jeff's family came up. They set up well. A couple of what was that? Things was dropped in. A. Probably since those are both B's. <sighs> Too cold here for color plate. I miss the cold. Sorry, Laura, I'm going to stop yawning. I swear, I, I will go to Jumping Jacks if I have to. Jess, I will get some rest tonight. As soon as, we're only doing one pour tonight, so it'll be a quick video. Actually, I lied. I'm not going to go to bed right after this. i got to work on my elephant. Okay, good. I'm glad, Debbie. Have you ever tried to paint mixer drill like Stone Coat uses? We do that when we do countertops and big surface areas. It's really not a good idea to use on small quantities because you're going to waste resin that sticks to your 
mixer drill thing and you're going to mix in a lot of unnecessary bubbles. But when you're working on bigger pieces, then you kind of have to. Mojo, I'm glad you got the Texas slips. I, I've been stressing about that piece for a while. There's calls. I will absolutely get some rest. Maybe tomorrow. Or the next day. We actually have a small electric blender survey. It's from um, like mixing airbrush colors or it's a frother for like cappuccino machine. Don, we've had resin turn to rubber before. Usually that's because we mix in too much pigment or it's too hot outside. Hi, Lori. How do y'all finish the backs of your coasters? Let me grab one real quick. I'll do one after this because I was going to do those. Well, I'll do one at the end of this. Stay tuned. We'll do one live and then Living Color for y'all. And if you can't, let us know and we'll see what we can do. Um, Eva says, just stopping in. Jeff, please watch the video on the car painting I posted in the ATD page. It reminded me of you. I think you'll love it. It's green, Jeff. Cheryl, it is so funny you said that because I actually have some right over there that I pulled. It's actually older. I need to order a newer set, but it does give some neat effects. The problem with it is, though, that the effects grow so much that it works better if you're using like a Petri dish or something like that, so it doesn't have the ability to keep evolving. Do you tape off the backs of your paintings? No, and the reason why is because we put our paintings down on like wax paper, parchment paper, or um, what is this? Plastic. This is a plastic tarp. And so there won't be drips because we're laying it flat on that and we just peel that off. I'm so happy you like them, Jody. Can you show beach themed coasters? That'd be fine. We, haven't done that. we haven't done beaches in a while since I put those shells on that one. Night, Jessica. I'm arting in the Finger Lakes for of New York for 10 days. Jealous, Ellen. I bet it's beautiful though. Send me pictures. I got a set of ATD coasters a few days ago. Bananas would be an insult. They're the whole plant. Whole bananas plant. <laughs> so that's all I got. Hi, Randy. God. That stuff really like, look at that. Grave off it. We just, you know what, Cheryl, we just want to save people the time and money. It's, none of this stuff is cheap. So if we can keep people from making a mistake or wasting a product or wasting time with a product that just doesn't do what it says it does, then we're happy to do so. But I'll do another, I'll do a piece with the, the um, Prism paints so that you guys can see it. I'll get a fresh batch of them so that I can be sure that it's a true test. Tiffany is working on a 30 by 40 right now and it's pretty daunting. I know the struggle. What's up, Stacy? I'm having the hardest time layering my silicone for my freeform geode. Any advice? Kelly, lay thick lines down so it doesn't just bleh over you know it doesn't just fold when you do the next layer uh, make sure there's no pinholes and what's the problem you're having you know what send me an email show me a picture of what the problem is and I will help you as best I can even if I have to do a quick video just for you and show you how we do it the blue looks like it matches Jeff's shirt 
basically, uh, yeah. Does, yeah. Sir, but you can purchase artist who pigments from my website of what I have in stock currently. I'm expecting another shipment from them shortly. How did epoxy candy work out? It worked out okay. Our best, our favorite things that they have is their um, metallic powder so far. I think the, that's the best bang for your buck. And they say that their alcohol inks are light fast. But I don't know. I have to believe them until I know otherwise, but I'm just always skeptical because I've yet to find one that's truly light fast. I know Tiffany, me too. We'll have those in. I called my broker this weekend and he's supposed to go try to pick them up tomorrow. And if that's the case, they'll be live on Wednesday. Let's see if I can find a better angle. I love how my computer doesn't tell me I need to update until I'm doing something important. See, I'm the palest one. Yeah. I'm regular. Doing computer classes for the legally blind so I can post big suit. Whoop, whoop. What color is Jeffrey? What's up, Dean? Let me just switch to Lucy, and I'll show you. It looks like he just murdered a paint. So the colors that he's using tonight are this in real life says magic blue, but we've alcoholed this, so you can't really read it anymore. So it's magic blue by Just Resin, pink velvet by Just Resin. What is this, chocolate? Chocolate brown by Just Resin. And I'll show you the rest in a second. Does anyone have a what idea? Does anyone have a simple idea for a stretch canvas display at a festival for only 15 and 20 canvases? I have pegboards and easels. The thing about pegboards is it will always look like pegboards. Unless you just cover it in artwork. Yeah. Just make it look nice. Darren, we had a blast. Thank you. Is that just resin fuchsia? It is not. It is. Maybe it is. No, it's raspberry. The last color is just resin raspberry. Um, hi, Monet. Say so happy belated birthday, Jeff. Thank you, thank you. I love you guys, but new episodes of Outlander are on Netflix. Netflix is pre-recorded. You can always, I can't, I don't mind. I'm surprised Judy's here because Outlander's out. Ocean, I'm going to have them replace, like, they should be in within 10 days. I've already ordered them. They're on the way. We are amazing, Dee. Thank you for asking. Baking tonight, so it's a different kind of art for me. Um, that's still super arty. I can't do it. That's more sciencey than anything in my world. Darren says, every time you show the colors, I catch myself checking my Just Resin list to see if I've ordered that one or not. Ren, um, classes? We have one coming up on the 1st. Also, for people that are doing um, festivals and craft shows and things like that, don't neglect the people that just want to take something with them. And that means have coasters, 
have tea tiny paintings that they can hold easily, carry around the festival. Magnets. If you have to make them there, take take magnets, take uh, keychain fixtures, and make them while they're while you're sitting there. People love to see that, and they love to see it being made just for them, if need. Customization. Have paintings up to catch their eye, and then when they get in there and realize, mm, I don't know if I can spend that much money, have coasters and small things available that they can be like, I'll take this, this, and this. Y'all, I'm not even kidding you. We paid for our booth fees and expenses for an entire festival, the last one that we did, just off coasters. Okay, where are you going with that? <laughs> It was dramatic pause. I'm excited now that I see this truck on the ground. Um, yeah, some of them are thicker than others. Just stir them up. They'll still mix in just fine um, to the resin. Maybe Jeff should wear a kilt for all the Outlander fans. Well, I don't know about that. Erica, when Charles and I come out in October, can I buy paste and pigments from you then? Of course. Just make sure we're here because October is super busy month. Erica, trust me, you need to try JR Ruby. I tried it to duplicate it. One of your videos with JR Ruby turned out awesome. We actually have some Ruby. No, we're low on it, so I don't want to use it, but I will definitely pull it and try it. And always have business cards for shows. This is true. I'm glad that you're safe, Ocean. We were worried about you. One of the first lives of yours I watched was with your touring the festival. That's the festival that I'm talking about that we paid our everything for, for it with um, proceeds from coasters. Um, he also added Artisu's bright gold paste. It's not going to focus because of my life, but it's metallic gold paste from Artisu. So that. Would that be rose gold? Yes, but no. I would call that more of a, like a rosé, like a pink champagne. I miss the Artisu one. It had that like silver sheen to it. When you do your shows, do you spread the coasters out or wrap up four together? The ones that we want to keep in a set, we will wrap up together. However, we sold the most when we had them all out and mix and match. People really like like we had families come through, like the daughter would want one and the son would want one and the mom would pick two and it's just easier that way. Hi, Anita. Morning, Elizabeth. Morning, morning, morning. So he's mentally pouring right now, I feel like. That's what's happening. I just want to show y'all, bam, this one from last night. I'm proud of that one. I like that. Bam. A bam. Ba bam. Let me get Lucy so I can show y'all a closer. It looks the same, but y'all, all the cells stayed intact. Super proud of it. And I didn't even do it. That makes me want a strudel. Which sell better? The tile or paper coasters? No difference. They're the same. If they like the designs, they're sold. Cheryl, full case of bananas. That's amazing. Not just one bananas, just all the bananas.
Costa Rica's in the house. Ooh, if I lived in Costa Rica and I had a little shop and I sold coasters, I would call it Costa Rica. You're dumb. Costa Rica. Costa Rica. Costa Rica. Okay, I can dig it. Um, Stacy, I've not seen the glitter spritzers. Let me just look that up real quick. Thank you, Cryptic. Hi, Amanda. Buttercup Moo Cow. You didn't miss anything. I just showed the colors that we're using tonight. Cindy, we do not cork the back of our coasters. I use those um, bumpers that you can get at hardware stores that go in, like on your cabinet door so they don't like slam. or like eraser size. I'll show you at the end of this. We did have an awesome night, Amanda. If you guys followed us on Snapchat, you would see the entire adventure. For the most part. Until I fell asleep at Zenas. Twice. Why am I looking that on there? Is that what it's called? It is just a glitter spritzer? Can I get just a spritzel of glitter? Spritzel. Thank you, Dee, so, so much. Debbie, the glitter that we used the other night was something. <laughs> um, let me you pull it up. are full of answers today. That's what I do. That's what I'm good at. Did Jeff have a good drink for his birthday? I made sure that he took every shot that you guys purchased for him. And then we went and had Thai food. And it was 3 in the morning and I was so tired. I decided to take a Mimi right now. Zero shame. I would have asked for a pillow and a blanket. So, let me see. I'll find it on here. It is silver chunky. Huh? Super it's what? Super chill. It's super chill? Okay. And then she carried him home, basically. Y'all, I wasn't tired because of alcohol. I just haven't. We've been doing so much getting ready for everything coming up that I haven't slept that much. And so that's what that was. Um, while he's super tilting, I'm going to show you the glitter. Is it this one? The big chunky glitter? Focus. There it is. If that's it, then I have it linked in our description box under Amazon. It's by Rave Wonderland and it's silver holographic chunky glitter. 15 grams. I hope that's what you're talking about. If you're talking about the extra fine, let me know. Also, glitter spritzer. That's what I was looking for. Those colors look amazing together. Oh, it's red, blue, and yellow. I'm 90% sure I spelled spritzer wrong. Is it just an empty spray bottle? Like, what's what makes it a glitter spritzer as opposed to literally anything else? It's true. We go nonstop most all the time. Black is taking over. Too much. Purple's not doing it. This looks like a sea fan. Yep, it is doing the cell thing for sure.
I think I'm going to do those lines on Jamie's piece with gold leaf. Good idea or bad idea? That's crazy. Yeah, my backup plan was to use the gold paint pens because they're shiny yeah. and I can control it super easy. Is it glimmer mist? What color is this Jeff using? Jeff is using, wait for it, wait for it. He's using pink violet by Just Resin. He's using chocolate brown by Just Resin. He's using Magic Blue by Just Resin, Raspberry by Just Resin, oh, now it focuses, and Gold by Artist Sue. The chocolate light just disappeared, right? It's Design Spray Glitter. Stacey, can you send me a link to one of those, some of those? Do you have to mix it in like alcohol or something? I have so many color ideas for you guys. I would have never thought to put that chocolate and blue together. Oh, I get so many color ideas for you guys. I have the same heat gun, but I have to say, I like the effects Jeff got the best when he would just blow. That's what she said. Ren, I'm not sure if the black and the white sell up better than the other Stone Coat colors because I haven't tried the other ones. We have the other ones. I just haven't tried it. So maybe maybe I will pour tonight and I'll give that a shot for you guys. The colors do look pearlized, but they're all luster colors that he used, so I'm not surprised that they look pearly. I spent the morning peeling resin off my favorite heat gun, then I used it later. It died. I'm planning a memorial service. Condolences. Linda, if you win our contest at the end of the month, one of the options is heat gun. Is that selling or pits? Those are cells. Hold on, I'll get you on to the I'll put you on Lucy and we'll I'll give you a close up. I, sh I shouldn't have uh, this I, I should have put that black down. I should have put the colors down and then the black around it. Cells glass. No pits. You don't really like it, Debbie. You unscrew the lid and you put color that you want to use. That's bananas. I'm super pumped to see what's up with that. Tiffany says she has the red stone coat base tint and it sells like the other one. So that's cool. Gianna and Sophia, what's up, ladies? I really hope I get to meet you too soon. Hug your mom for me. Agreed, Darren. Cryptic, when we have problems deciding on colors for our next piece, we just do all of the pieces. What is your go-to product in creating cells? It depends on what color, because I have favorites from many brands. Um, if I want large cells like these, I'll go with Stone Coat, but right now their colors are very limited because they are a countertop company. They are expanding their color, so they'll have more art-friendly colors soon, but if I'm doing black or white, this is what I work with. But I really like the white from Artisu, Just Resin, Lorez. If you want like a frothy cell instead of like a spider web cell. I don't even know if that's a thing. I think I just made that up. Rolling October. Can't wait to meet you guys in person. Elizabeth, are you coming through in October?
Good night, Nurse Balls. Very true, Jody. Season 3 is good and Casting Craft White is good. I think Casting Craft White is the first white that we ever used that wasn't an acrylic thing. And I was amazed. But we have evolved since then. I think we still have it somewhere. Um, Mustard Seed, what's up? Haven't seen you in a couple minutes. So bad. They did the fade because he put so much black in it. I just, I put that black face down and wasn't even thinking. It's, it's literally just like muddying up on me. Oh, I'll see you in Perth. Okay, good. When people say they're going to come see us, I'm like, wait, when, where, where am I going to be at? Here lately, the end of the year gets so busy for us, but we always make time for people. The fam. Yes, I will be in Australia the first nine days of October. From the side, that gold is like flecking. Flecking? That sounds like a very horribly graphic word. No flecking. I get zero flex. No flex zone. You keep doing stuff with it and it's still like, I'm selling anyways, whatever, dude. Darren said, that flecking gold. Y'all, I feel like it's a word. Or maybe it's just an e-science vocab word. I don't know. What's up, Mariola? Ocean says the gold helps. Question, were you in the room uh, yesterday when I was talking about your rum? Gasolina. Ren asked a really good question. In doing a puddle pour, is it true that you should always put white as the first layer and white in between each color in order to create cells? That is a good theory for acrylic pours. It's very different with resin. The density of paint does play a factor. However, um, a lot of paints are made differently. And this white and this, that black, nope. Yeah, this white and that black from Stone Coat, they actually need to just be the first thing laid and then the color you want pushed over it, which is why he's getting cells on this. When he rolls the color over the black, that's when it sells because... What? Why am I forgetting the word? It's such a good word. Surface tension. Um, if you were to add white in between every color, you're going to end up dulling out your colors if you use a lot of heat and you need heat to create cells. Um, I would just say put the white next to whatever color you want to have in between the cells. Send me an email. I will tell you all about it. We have to publish an e-dictionary. Ebonics. So if fleck is a word, then is flecking a word? Be careful with that rum, kiddos. I'm pretty sure it could power a car so, or a jet. No, listen, Ocean. Um, so I, I was telling my, my friend JD about it. I was like, look at this. This is amazing. One of our followers sent it to us from Hawaii. And as I was showing him. He decides to take his wig. 
he just grabs the bottle. I said, no, 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 wait, wait. And he didn't even smell it. He just took a swig. And his face turned so red so fast. And he was like coughing. He's like, what? I said, dude, I'm trying to tell you. It's like 155 proof. Yeah. But the cells are cool over here. These double dimension cells. I just, I don't think that I made these colors opaque enough. And then the black just took over. Art phonics. I can get on that too. Fleck, flecking, flecked, flecking it. Okay. Thank you so much. I totally get it now, and I definitely want a new class. Well, thank you, Ren. Um, I'm pretty sure our class is full for this one. Send me an email. Let me double check that if you're in and around Dallas on September 1st and 2nd. That piece is glowing. Love the cells. Ocean just fell off her chair laughing. You have to mix it with pineapple juice. Anna Jameson, sorry I'm late, three glasses in. Chill, Anna, just be with the fam, be with the fam. Hi, Leslie, what's up, Pamela? Artifacts, did y'all just come in together as a group? Where were you guys hanging out at? I'm glad you were here, Chris, have a good night. Jeff is using one of our handy dandy stir sticks to put some filigree in the piece. I was painting in the garage. Okay, it's a valid excuse. What up, Mama T? I don't know if y'all know this, but we already have exceeded 16,000 subbies and we couldn't have done it without y'all. 16,134. We got to find some kind of big deal thing to give away for 20,000. You know, what do y'all suggest? What should we give away at 20,000 subbies? Jeff drawing in the resin usually means he doesn't like it. That's exactly what it means. Um, that's just the angle. Let me transition you guys to Lucy. The colors are not cloudy. They're actually quite loud. This is so nice now. It's very um, Alice in Wonderland Mad Hattery. Hi, Andrea. You just don't do anything with it. I like the swirlies in it. Let's just do another four. Let's just see how well those um, swirls last when it sets up. Funky. I like that. Looks nice. Grins. There's too much reflection. Like, I don't know what the deal is. It's got to be that light. light. It's got to be this light. You know, it's that light. It's this one. Just the angle too. Just get the big drop down. Okay, I'll drop it. Um, we are using stone coat art resin. Why do you have to have a big giveaway? Twenty thousand subs is our thanks to you. We don't need a prize. You are the prize. That's so sweet, but we want to. Barb L says I need to learn how to do scroll work, level with the scrolls, a small resin kit. Not a bad idea. Maybe we'll give away um, our first kit. After 20,000, what about a free class? We could do a free one-on-one. -on -one. Mm 
regular. It, we're not, yeah, we don't use the um, quick set for pieces this size. That is a very good idea, Cheryl. You guys need a black ceiling to stop the washout of oh, color. I know. I've told myself that. I've actually told people. Like, yes. I thought of that. Like, if I could paint my ceiling black, I completely 100% would. Jeff has had some awesome pours lately. It must be his birthday month. Give away a car. You get a car. You get a car. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody's Oprah. Piece of your artwork. Where do you purchase your ceramic posters from? We get them from Home Depot in the tile section. A large mystery box, not a bad idea. What's up, Terry? I just want to show you guys what the back of our posters look like. So this is a coaster. It's on ceramic. We just sand the back down, spray paint an accent color from the front side, and then put these little bumpers. They're felt and they stick out just enough to where it'll protect any kind of countertop from any scratching because of the base of this. So um, I'll link these bumpers in the Amazon down in the description below. And yeah, they're not expensive at all and way easier than cutting out custom fit cork. Come to Canada and do a class for us. I would love to come to Canada. A black canopy. Why don't we do that? Why don't we get a black pop up? Not a bad idea. I was hoping to request a video on prepping all sorts of canvases, wooden panels, etc. I know you spray paint periodically, but how long do you let it dry before putting resin on it? Wait till it's not tacky anymore. If you're using a flat, then it won't be that long. I just, I literally painted mine like 15 minutes before we went live. Send me an email with the request so I can put it on our board to do um, a video. Randy, um, yeah, if you're working on a larger canvas, it will puddle in the middle. You really need to prep your canvases, and I still wouldn't pour on any canvas canvas over like 24 by 24. That's pushing it, even if you prep it as best as possible. E6000, my favorite glue. Do you use additional glue to attach the bumpers or what's just on them? We've never had a problem with one popping off. In fact, I tried to get one off one time because I had to clear coat it. Couldn't get That's it off. That's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> Got me. If you guys have a habit for a humanity restore anywhere near, you can get over stock tiles for 10 cents each. Huh. Why don't you just spray your candy? It'll probably crack if we tried to fold it down, wouldn't it? Because I don't want to have a black candy when we're out in the sunlight. That's a good point. Just use E6000, Pamela. Everybody's laughing at me. It's all your fault. Get your sponsors to donate gift cards for stuff and then have multiple giveaways. That's not a bad idea at all. I was gonna I was gonna actually suggest that like 
get uh, people donate, like have a day where just people donate, and then we go out and buy like Michaels and Hobby Lobby and Home Depot and gift cards. Yeah. And send it to people. Get a lightweight insulation foam board and suspend it from your ceiling. Nothing can go in the ceiling. It's cement. Yeah. I mean, we probably could, but it would take way too much effort. They make matte black shelf paper. Do they really? Um, Rachel, we used to only use ceramic tiles and we were gifted a box. And so we're using those before I buy some more of the paper ones. I like them both equally. Tack the black plastic sheet to the ceiling. Let me just show y'all what my ceiling looks like. Let's go on an adventure. Follow me, kids. Follow me. That is all concrete and pipes and pillars and lights. And air ducts. A lot going on up there. Might just have to paint it. Come pour in my kitchen. Soul. Yeah, artifacts. It is a very much an industrial warehouse loft. And that is true, D. Our ceilings are high. They're 13 feet. Linda, you know, we don't charge more for the ceramic versus the paper because the cost isn't paper that different. Is actually, the paper is actually more. Which I don't it is Terry. Why. Yeah, I use Stunk over the top coat of everything to Eva. It is a true, true law. Lisa Wyatt has a great idea. Get a ton of black helium balloons. I'm so down. I think the easiest thing, honestly, would be a canopy. Just get. Well, like, they have a blue one. It's the one we got. All we have to do, like, it's ten by ten. I bet it would be. It'd be perfect. Look how fun these are. Sorry, y'all. That is so fun. These are so nice. I love them. How do you get the back of paper looking neat? I got any resin bubbles off the bottom spray painted, but you can see where they were. Or do you just roll with it? Um, where's my this? We sand it down, but since when we are done with our anything, our paintings, it goes on wax paper, parchment paper, or these. Um, black tarps and so since we lay directly on it we just peel it right up and if there's anything outside of our coaster we just take a hot exacto blade and cut it off so there's never really much of a problem under it you, you run into that when you leave them suspended like they are on these caps <laughs> there was not my hand Sandy says, put dryer sheets in the air ducts. It decreases the amount of dust. Dust particles stick to the fat. How often do you have to switch that out? Do you want me to Like it's my hands are quick. I rip my gloves. Did you get more racks today? Yep. 
That's true. Which do you prefer, the paper or the tile? Tile. But I like the paper because it has a hard edge. So it uh, it, it level like it doesn't want to go over the edge, so it just sits there and it looks amazing. So you zero answer. What? They're the same in my head. If I was doing alcohol inks, obviously I would want to uh, use the ceramics. I think it's just, it comes down to preference. Did you open it? Yeah. With my gains. Um, Mary Maxwell, you can get those on Amazon. I have them linked in our store. Doing, doing, doing. Just click on the Amazon link and it will take you right to And if you guys don't understand how to click on our link or go to the information box, she'll tell you that right now how to do that. It depends on if you're on your phone <laughs> or your computer. Click the arrow if you don't see it. Um, congrats on your first resin pour, I'm Res. Was it amazing? I'm sure it was. Can you do the swipe technique with resin like you do with acrylic? Yes, you can. And it works amazing. This one was done. These cells were made by the swipe technique. Hold on. Let me transfer you. Awesome. These are swipe cells. No. Mariola, that's a good part. A lot of people buying coasters prefer to have the weight of the ceramic coasters. It feels like you're getting more for your money. But it all works the same, though. Respirator or mask ever. We are in a very well-ventilated space. This is no VOC resin. And we have windows. That's not to say that you shouldn't wear a respirator or a mask when working with any chemical ever, including resin. Better be safer than sorry, but meh. Hi, Leanne. I'm glad you're here. No, you have to put the color over the black. Yeah, but what I love about it is it gives it a fade like it's going down. Yeah. Hi, CJ. I'm glad you made it. When are you starting the nail that paintings? Monday. I guess that's tomorrow. I sure can, Lucy. Just send me an email to remind me, or I will forget for sure. Is resin bad when it starts to yellow? Um, it just means that it's been exposed to UV, or maybe that it's a little bit older. Typically, what I've read is most resins have about a year shelf life. So if it's starting to yellow, it's kind of probably a little bit older bottle. Um, Darlene, where have you been? You can still use it. It the yellowing will fade when you mix the other part into it. So, 
He's he's over on the corner. He'll be out in a second, I'm sure, Roz. Terry says, I love the black overlapping the white and pink. Well, it gives it like a... Hi, Copper Draco. Draco? Draco. It makes it look like it's, you know, in shadow. Going to the pinks of death. But I think you have to put like a little, like go black line and then heat it so then it really like makes it look like it's underneath. You about to do something? No. Um, please explain. Nailed it, Andrea. Okay, here's the thing. So, you know how we always say it's impossible to recreate anyone else's artwork with pores, really most artwork. But I watched this show, it's on Netflix, and it's called Nailed It, and it's bakers trying to replicate cakes that were obviously made by some expert baker somewhere, some mad scientist, and I've never seen anyone even get close, but it's so funny watching people try to recreate these things, they're just and everyday people. They're, just, they're, not, they're not at all professionals. And I think it would be interesting, one, to try to recreate someone's artwork to, to prove my point that it's impossible to recreate, even given like this, the, the know-how and the same materials probably, and I don't know. But I have a, a post in the thread of the ATD's poor people that tells the parameters of what I'm trying to do and why, and if you wanna like, post a photo in that thread of what you would think would be fun for us to to try to recreate. Someone in Louisiana is trying to get a hold of you past your bedtime. Anyways, that's the idea. Why haven't you been arting, Darlene? Are you okay? I didn't know you were doing another one. Jeez. The key with the stone coat colors is to push color over the stone coat colors. So he put red over the stone coat white. Actually, that was a better view down here. I have orchids and wonder what it would be like to cover one complete resin, of course, inside a mold. Any suggestions? Pamela, send me an email because we've done some casting before and it's a little bit more complicated than you would think. So shoot me an email. Okay, I'm going to get in on this so I can show them what does when you push the color over the white. You should have put a white coat down. There's not a lot of white over there. Why won't it focus? There's too much going on it probably. Just swirl it around a bit. What color did you get, Lucy? Colors. My 
like using all the old. Those are good colors, Lucy. Shoot me an email, darling. Let's send you, let me send you something. And it says, love that, Jeff. Not happy, swipe it off and start over. Did you do that? Did you do yeah. that? Okay. <laughs> Mother Nature, please show the back of a finished tile poster and share how you did it. I will. So, I actually just went over that a little bit ago, and I have that exact poster right here from my explanation. So, this is one we did a while back, and it is a tile poster. After we painted it, we set it down on parchment paper. You can also use wax paper or just tarp. And that way, if anything bleeds off, it won't leave the drips like if you set it on a cup or whatever. Um, and if you have a drip that goes on the outside of this, you can take a hot exacto blade and just whoosh, parental supervision required. Um, but after, you just peel it up, comes off super easy, and we'll sand the edges down to make sure that nothing can cut anybody. And we spray paint it an accent color to the front side. You can also just put cork, but I don't have time to custom cut cork. So we spray paint it and add these little bumpers. Focus. Probably won't be able to tell, but they're felt. I'm not going to focus. That's fine. They're felt bumpers. They're already, like, you just peel them off, put them on here. They already have sticky stuff on them, but that will ensure that there's no scratching of anybody's tables if they slide their poster around. And that's how we do it. Hi, Lucy. No need for tears, Darlene. Just shoot me an email. Did all the pour done. That's nice. Oh yeah, don't forget to use our code if you order stone coat products. I'm gonna do a pour. Is that what you were asking, Lucy? I'm gonna try this stone coat red and see if it works similar to the black and the white. I believe it will. I don't see why I wouldn't, but I'm going to do a small pour. I like the cell action on the white coaster. Super celly. It's actually like spider web cells because we tilted it. Yeah. But it's perfectly flat. There's no pitting. No little fuzzies. Black base without having your pigment or your resin tinted really opaque. Y'all keep in mind. If, but don't do that with stone coat ones because then you're going to end up. What? If you put too much stone coat into your resin, and one, it's going to thin it out. And so it's going to even more keep evolving. And since it has that oil slicky property to it, it'll keep evolving, especially since it's thinner. I wouldn't. Add too much because I've done that. I don't know what you're saying. What are you commenting on what I just Bloody said? spider webs? Yeah. 
Can you try the red over clean to see if it sells? Sure. Except for the stone coat needs to be on the bottom, not the top. So it would have to be clear over red, if that's okay. Guys, anytime you do a repour canvas you don't like, make sure you sand it down just a little bit to give some tooth for your top coat to stick to. And wipe it off with 90 proof alcohol, 91. Whatever. I figured that's what you meant, Lucy. No worries. So I haven't used this red yet from Stone Coat. Very interested to see how opaque it is, if it sells like the other ones, and etc. Hi, Donna Parker. How many times can you report a canvas? As many times as you want to. It's just going to get heavier. It will just get heavier. And I've heard people saying that if you repour too many times on a cheaper canvas, the front may break on the corner because it, it may get too heavy and just pull apart. I've never had that happen, and I've repoured quite a few canvases. So wiping it off with some alcohol so that none of the little dust from my quick sanding gets into my piece. Do we get some HDX instead? The buckets? Okay. So I'm gonna do this is too high. Because I just turned it around for my elephant. I think that's why Maybe that's just really dull. Why well, sanded this? Yeah. What up, ideas? Silk or so? Y'all? Yen. Put your promo code on that last order. Thank you. You're welcome, Jeff. Um, what was I saying? I'm going to use Caribbean Sea Red. So, this is a, what is this, five by five, six, six by six, six by six. So, it's not going to take me that much resin to do six by six, so I'm going to say three ounces. So, that equals a one to one ratio here. Actually, I'm going to do four ounces because I want to play with our new... Jeff, you need to show Lucy the rum bottle she wants. Oh yeah, she wants to order some. The gasoline. Oh. Linda, we 
we haven't tried putting a camera behind our heads. Maybe we'll get another camera and link that angle to get a from the artist viewpoint. As you can see, there's not a lot gone from this. <laughs> This is uh, some very strong 155. And this is the uh, other one that she sent us. Can you guys even see that? It's so blown out. I've just been using a Lucy when I have to show you something. Lucy the Wanderer. Oh. GoPro for Jeff's hats. Yeah, but that's no fun because when you look around, it it's so annoying. Anything. Yeah, you guys don't want that. We tried. Yeah, this stuff is it's no joke, y'all. Do anything. Jeff used a GoPro before. It didn't work well. Yeah, I didn't I didn't like it. It is ocean. That's that's like Everclear. You can clean graffiti off with that stuff. Like literally you can you could. With Everclear or that somebody one? sent us a Laura Taylor. Oh, that was Laura Taylor. Look at this. It's a little mold of a uh, palm. Mm -hmm. I made a clear and purple one today. Pretty cute. Good evening. Celebrating my birthday with ATD in some sippy sippy tonight. Happy birthday. One call. Adele. Sharing some videos won't hurt ATD's feelings. That we that's super true. Super true. It's a resin moo. <laughs> it's a mini moo. <laughs> it's so good. Yeah. It's so funny because I'm sure that's how mine was. Are you toying with my emotions right now, Pete? What is it? Happy birthday, Adele. <laughs> what? It wasn't. Brand spanking new. What? I can smell that. It smells like. That's what he said. That's what she said. <laughs> That button would be nothing without the.
Is it this blue bananas? It's bananas! Get in there. There's just too much light. Something, I don't know. That setting is terrible. I don't know what is wrong with that. I think it's set for the daytime. Halloween. Okay. I'm not going to use that much product. I don't think it's going to need that much. I just put two tips in there. That's what you know. That's what she said. She needs those mad muscles, Jeff. No! There you go. Stupid old ones. We're getting the other shipment in tomorrow. how I get cells with the white and the black. So we're going to see if it works the same way with this red. A lot. Are you just going to put it So frustrating. Will you transition over to Lucy? I'd say it works. So I'm just going to do, um, I'll do a swipe on this side just for a, uh, a test on if that works. I don't see why I wouldn't. But just for argument's sake, we're going to do it. Always heat it up because thin resin is a selling resin. And handy dandy this. Make sure it's clean and anything may or not have gotten on it. That's even good. We're just going to lightly lay our stick down and drag it over the surface. Don't push it down all the way to the base because then you're just going to scrape off your resin. What you're trying to do is just grab resin and pull it to the edge and over the top of your other colors. There's so much stuff on there. 
People can call me bias all they want to, but I've never seen cells this big on anything else ever that I've used with resin. So awesome, but the view is so bad. It is super vibrant. We'll see how they set up Minyana, y'all. talking to you guys about the importance of posters when you do an art show. This is when we stock up our supply of posters. After every pour, if we have anything left over, we'll usually do posters. That way, when it gets down to like right before a show, we don't have to stress about what we have available to, you know, how much time do we have to make how much posters. We just have them stocked up from months. Okay, I'm not going to put a clear base under these guys, and we're just going to see how it goes. Got my red. Got my gold and my Caribbean sea. Let's go. How about three angles? Da, da, da. <laughs> Use the red as a base, Lucy says. There's a method to my madness, y'all. Amanda, if you order some uh, if you go to Stone Coat's website and you spend at least eighty dollars, they will give you thirty dollars off. If you use ATD code. If you use the ATD code. And that's really good for what they charge for their resin, and it's all worth it. You you make it right back. If you uh, sell it right. Yeah, when you do posters, don't overthink it. Just pick three colors that go well together. Lay them down. Make sure there's everything covered. And if you want to, you can just do a swipe and swipe. Which is what I'm about to do. What is the blue being used? Ocean. Caribbean Sea. Caribbean Sea. By Artisu. By Artisu. I believe I have that in stock right now. Yeah, we got some of that. You can get it on our uh, website. Artisu.com. I forgot to test the clear of a red. I'm sorry. I will. I'll test it though. Uh, what is that? Shereen? Sorry, Sherry? Sherry? 
Um, what do you sell the tiles ones for? We sell them for $5 each, or if we do a couple different custom colors for somebody, it's four for a set of four. $40, $40 for a set of four. Individual ones that we just make here at the house, we want to sell them for five bucks a piece. Cryptic Art said, wow, I totally forgot I had soup on the stove. Been cooking for two hours. Kind of soup. I like soup. <laughs> I was waiting for that. Alright, let's get some heat. I really really don't like that. These settings. It's a fun blue with that red. I don't know why I keep saying blue. Laura Taylor, hi guys, getting ready for work, but watching. Laura Taylor, we showed everybody the Kuja mold. Is it new? I did it in clear. Yes, thank you, Jackie Woods. That was that was pretty uh, that was pretty cool. The Banksy birthday card. Pretty sure Banksy watches Picking up some resin from the sides to finish off these edges. Which resin do I want? Not enough for a moon mold. We have enough for one more. Yes. Uh, thanks, Mother Nature. I, I don't know if anybody, some people are like, ah, it's too, too much, excuse me, too much going on when they have, you know, different camera angles all at one time, but you get a, you get a good, nice little angle, different angle to see. Hi from Perth. Can't wait to meet you. What? I have the last four bottles of Stairway to Resin left in Perth for you. What is that? I'm just super pumped to be going to her. Look, it's, it says, I have the last four bottles of Stairway to Resin. That, that's genius, Stairway to Resin. Stairway to Resin Addiction. Beer. Ah. Awesome. All right. Well, I'm stoked even more now. I think there's just so much on here that it's making everything look muddy. I knew I should have cleaned that. Should just put a new little white piece of paper down. I will let her know, Stacy. She sent you an email with her glitter dealer. Awesome, the spritzer. Yeah. I guess I'm just gonna pour what I have left. A car. Oh. I haven't seen the cars yet. Here, but I could have sworn before 
was real dark. Jeff wants to know what red is that. That is the stone coat uh, base, red base. There you are. Weekly next hobby is going to be beer drinking. That's an expensive hobby. But really crappy beer and doing videos like I'm tasting wine. <laughs> that would be funny. And watch. There's the uh, drunk carpenter. Measure once, cut twice. Well, that was a fun day of experimentation. Yeah. Okay, uh, Grandma Parker. <laughs> Have a nice night. Thanks for joining us. We appreciate it. So, um, that's tonight's show, y'all. If you want to see Cujo, just wait. He'll be out here in a second, dancing around, trying to get me to take Just resin. All right, I'm yawning. What up, Just Resin? We just finished the feed, but um, people are really excited to get these colors that I don't have anymore. So hopefully, I can we talk tonight about the order so we can get things rolling with it, if that's cool. Um, because I'm out of a lot of colors. Start off. Um, if anybody has any questions for Just Resin, we, we started our live feed at an hour and 40 minutes ago. So, what will I do with the rest of my night? Do it more. Bye, Patty. And then send it to me. Also, if you guys want to send Cujo any tea tiny itty bitty baby paintings, our address is 1409 South Lamar Street, Dallas, Texas, 75215. Just a drop. Here he comes. He's on, oh, in class now. on the move. Um, uh, it's up there. All this info. Where's the young master at? He's right here. Funny you should know. Come here. Come say hi. Hi, miss. Come here. Come here. Open this way. There he is. See him. Do you see him? Do you do? So where's my mom? Mm -hmm. There's Cujo. Just blown out in all his glory. All the whiteness. <laughs> Come here, baby. I know it. Oh, I know Not it. enough room in my camera. Mm -mm. Yes, to have all his filming time. All the time for Miz. So anyways, I know you guys have heard this a million times, but I have to let you know that if you want Just Resin or Artisu or the Sticks or Class Info or um, the Mystery Boxes or the Resin Kits or Aprons or, aprons or Keychains, it's all available on our website, artistilldeck.com, two T's, two L's, and also check us out on Instagram, join our Facebook group. If you want merch, you can get it right here at Teespring. And there's our snail mail address way down there in the bottom, right down there. Absolutely rusty. I, I know I have your email. I just haven't opened it yet. I've seen them in there, though. i got to take him out before he pees on my feet. And we'll see all of y'all was today, Sunday. We'll see you all tomorrow at 8 o'clock, 7 Central. Right here on ATD TV. Um, that means an hour and 42 minutes ago is when we started. It's 9.42 right now. We started at 8 o'clock. 
central. Now I'm confusing myself. We go on at 8 o'clock central United States time. Anyways, we'll see all y'all tomorrow. Bye. I said bye. He said bye.